welcome back to my channel. It's still your girl Josephine Eyang, and this is Fix It with Josie. In today's episode, let me sit down. I beg, I'm tired. <laughs> In today's episode, guys, ah, people get energy for dance. I know lie on In today's episode, I want to bring you guys the highlights of how my 2021 ended. Like this was the biggest occasion, one of the biggest occasion we had in 2021 in the Langsys family after the birth of King Jordan, my handsome son. Yeah, we welcomed a new bride and I had planned this occasion like, ah, I had my plans. I was, I was so anxious. I was so, so excited about the day. So I don't know for some reasons when you plan that much, you may tend, you may end up not even attending the occasion. So I felt sick and everything was just happening. I was, I was just, like I could not even do anything. All the dance steps I had practiced too. Mm, but I could not, I could not guys. I just felt like, oh my God, why is this happening to me only now? So guys, it was an all traditional occasion. Like the dress code for the traditional marriage was mm, like what you see. I didn't actually have this. And I was wondering what will I wear? I had, I had this, yeah, I had something like this. I had this traditional wear, but childbirth, it don't small it got small i could not wear it it's no longer my size it doesn't size me anymore so zaddy got me this beautiful dress so got me ready for the occasion and so i was excited to go show my dance styles and welcome my banya but then sickness did not permit me so for some reasons i've been reluctant to edit that video and show you guys how the occasion went but today i just say okay for the love of these beautiful subscribers and viewers let me put in some effort and put up this video and i decided to bring it up see eh? hey if you're not married to a buffoon man you sure need to remarry <laughs> you know like you go remarry oh because buffoon people can celebrate their new bride what when i got married in 2017 hmm I did not believe what my eyes were seeing. Like it was a whole big occasion. They can dance from morning, from, from, from morning to night, non-stop. They don't get tired. And I was like, if you are a guest invited to this occasion and you are not married to a buffoon man, you may be tempted to ask God, why me? Why me, Baba? <laughs> if your husband is there, you may be asking, you don't see how they celebrate new woman. You, I, I, you don't see her no. But guys, this is just a way of life. It's just a tradition. I noticed that I just discovered that it's their tradition. This is how they do it. It's not like they do it for a particular person. No. The Bafu people have a tradition, a culture of welcoming their new bride in an outstanding manner. Like, I don't want to talk too much. I don't want to talk too much, guys. Just follow me along. Come and see what I'm talking about. I'm not exaggerating, you know. I just want you to feel the occasion before entering the dance proper. I could not take all videos because, like I said from the beginning, I wasn't feeling fine. And then, so I could not really be everywhere like I wanted to. I just gathered something at the reception. So I'll show you the kind of energy where these people get to receive their new wife. Hey! Bafuto! In my next life, I'll still be married to a Bafu man. In my next life, I'll still be married to a Bafu man. Eh? And it will still be to Mr. Lanty, it will still be you. <laughs> Follow me along and come and see how wonderful, how flamboyant, how beautiful this occasion went, guys. Follow, 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 follow me along. <laughs>
sweating <laughs> just just thinking about that they just this small dance step that i gave i'm already so tired like i'm sweating i'm sweating guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you were dancing along so guys that is how it went see you guys in my next one bye bye keep coming back to fix it with josie there is more here for you